Good morning, it is Monday morning and it is a bright, fresh, chilly morning and I thought I would start a weekly vlog because I haven't done a proper weekly vlog. I know I literally say that at the beginning of all my vlogs, um, but I haven't done a proper weekly vlog in a good long while. So I thought I'd start off today as it was Monday. I thought, yeah, grab the bull by the horns and start the week off properly. So I am, I haven't got the most exciting day to be honest. Um, I am off to the doctors now. I got an appointment at 11 o'clock. I rang, in fact, I rang up this morning and was on hold for 40 minutes, like in a queue. Um, it was like, you are now number 29. And then you'd wait another couple of minutes. It was like, you are now number 28. Um, so I really didn't think I'd get an appointment, but I did, I've got an appointment. So I'm off there now. And then I need to go to the post office and pick up a pick up a package, pick up a couple of packages, and then I need to, well, I'm going to go and see Lou over at the bungalow, I think, he's working there today with his papa. Um, they're both very busy, and yeah, so I'm gonna go there, maybe take them over some food, check in and see how they're getting on, um, and I need to make a few decisions. We've got some double sort of interior doors that are going from the hallway into like the big living area. There'll be like two doors and I need to decide where they're going to be situated. Um, honestly, the amount of decision, for a very, very indecisive person, the amount of decisions I have to make recently is quite terrifying. <laughs> um, but yeah, many, many decisions to be made and that's one of them that needs to be done today. Um, and I also had to decide last week where the Veluxes were going, which, I mean, it sounds so simple, but for me, I was like, oh God, but what if they're too close together? Or what if they're too far apart? I'm terrible, I overthink everything. Um, so yeah, going there afterwards, um, and that's the plan. I just thought I'd start vlogging. I'm going to London tomorrow, so I thought I could do a little bit of that, and just, yeah, do a little little weekly vlog before, like a pre-Christmas vlog. <laughs> um, so yeah, I won't ramble on right now too much because I'll probably be late for my appointment. Um, yeah, better go. Um, but yeah, gonna head to the doctors and hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. <laughs> old my old stomping grounds our old house is just two minutes up there that's why I'm still that's why it's a bit of a bit of a drive away I'm still at the same doctors I'm still registered at the same doctor surgery I was at before so oh, totally clumped that bad bit of driving from me there Do you know what considering I had to wait so long. And we are here. And do you know what, considering I had to wait so long this morning on hold, I thought the car park would be absolutely rammed. But it's not, it's nice and quiet in here. So hopefully that'll mean no waiting for my appointment as well. <laughs> Just checking that no one's sitting in the cars next to me and can see me sitting here vlogging in the doctor's car park. Um, but yeah, all done and dusted and I'm very glad that I went and that put my mind at ease um, because I wasn't going to say before I went in because well, I just wasn't going to say but I the reason I went to the doctors this morning is just because one of my boobs has really been hurting for the past three about three weeks and it's just every day I wake up constantly and it hurts and I've changed my sleeping position so I've sort of I'd always I always sleep that way because Lou I sleep on this side of the bed Lou sleeps on that side of the bed and we both face away from each other so we don't have to breathe on each other's face <laughs> um so I always face that way but I've been facing the other way or sleeping on my back and trying to like rule out what it could be um but yeah just didn't know what it could be so booked an appointment this morning and just had a little a little check a little massage by the doctor um, a little feel of everything, a little examination. She massaged my armpits and she's checked everything thoroughly and she doesn't seem to be concerned at all. And in fact, she's told me to Google, what did she write down? Patient.co.uk and Google breast pain and the conditions. So apparently it's very common to just have breast pain for no reason. Um, it doesn't have to mean that there's something wrong with your breasts. So uh, yeah, flopped the boys out in front of her. She had a little rub and um, she's given me the all clear so that's good um but yeah it's always good to put your mind at rest isn't it because I feel like we well especially me I'll sort of brush things under the carpet and think wait for it to go but yeah 
glad I went. So that's all, all okay as far as I'm aware. And now I'm gonna go to, I'm trying to think where I am. I'm in, uh, yes, now I'm gonna go to the bungalow, I think. Um, actually, no, I'll ring Lou and see what he wants me to do. Cause he's just texted me saying, don't forget, I need you to get me some stuff. So I will ring him and see what stuff he needs. By the way, I've got this phone case sent to me the other day and it's like got a loop on the back. It's called, it's called a loopy. And um, I've been loving it. Hello, mate, you all right? Yeah, all good, all good. She gave me a little boob massage and she um, checked at all, all my armpits and all around my neck and stuff. And she's given me, <laughs> given me the all clear. Sounds a bit dramatic, doesn't it? But she said it's, um, she said it's okay. She said it seemed okay. Um, so that's put my mind at rest hugely. All right, see you in a bit, bye. So I need to go and collect some air bricks. I need to get 20 engineering bricks, 18 inch damp, 18 inch damp, and then he's put wheat poles on another. Is wheat, that's it. Wheat poles, I think I'm gonna know what wheat poles are. <laughs> Honestly, if you got a text like that, that said that, here's this obviously the gray bit, would you know what that meant? That's not just me. Oh, I was tapping there for it to focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you wouldn't know what that means, would you? No. Oh, Louie, Louie, Louie. What are you like? A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. Hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. Yeah, it looks a bit mad, doesn't it, in a minute? I wouldn't stand underneath it. I'm not? I'm oh. Oh. <laughs> the safety clip isn't in place. It is. Small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the single bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why. Oh, excuse me. Goodness me, my eyes are watering now. That was a big old yawn, wasn't it? Good morning. As you can tell, I'm a little bit tired this morning. Oh, and my nose has started to run as well. God, what's wrong with me? Um, yeah, morning, it is Tuesday, and I feel a little bit, yeah, just a little bit tired. Um, so I'm having another coffee. I normally only have one in the morning. I normally play it very safe, but this morning I'm being daring and having two. Um, but yeah. It's Tuesday morning. Um, I didn't really finish the vlog off the best yesterday because, um, hang on, I'm just going to go and get a tissue. My nose is starting to drip. I can feel it. I can feel it. Two sex. Uh, yeah, that's better. That's better. Um, so yeah, I didn't really fi finish the vlog off very well yesterday because my battery de went when I was out, but you didn't miss much. I, I should put that on silent, shouldn't I? I came, um, yeah vlogged a bit of the house, which you would have seen. How exciting. Um, it feels like it's moving so quickly. Like we now have the extension, as you could see in the video yesterday. Um, we've got an extension, we've got the steels that have gone up. So there, obviously the steels are going up. Those big red things that you saw are the steels that, I mean, I probably sound like I'm stating the obvious if you know about extensions. But if, like me, you don't know a lot, then those red things were the steels that need to, like, hold the house up, basically. Stop the house from falling down. So they went in yesterday, and the um, 
beams have all gone up and yeah we now have a house we have a roof we have an extension so extremely exciting and also if you wondered who the um man was the the older gentleman um that was taking pictures he's so cute he's called ernie and he lives like behind us in the house behind us and from the day we sort of started doing renovation works there he's been coming in almost every day and taking pictures like the first time he came round he got Lou and I to pose with like hammers because we were both there sort of knocking things and he made us like both pose with hammers standing there and we did it like just like a pair of muppets like smiling with our hammers and then he was like right can I get one of you on your own Lou and just pretend to be knocking that wall and then I'd have to go into the kitchen and pretend to be knocking on a door of a hammer and he'd take a picture of it oh god the things you do I don't I don't know why we agreed to do it but yeah ever since then he's just been popping in and taking a few random snaps <laughs> so it'd be nice to look back on when it's completely finished and he comes around and shows us the stages because he's probably documented it a lot better than I have to be honest but yeah as you can see the house is progressing and I can't wait to be at the stage where I am actually like like we're having a kitchen put in and we're actually having things put in that look pretty um so yeah I don't think it'll be long so and I think that might be a bit more interesting for a lot of you to see like a new kitchen and a new bathroom and a bit more a bit more prettiness <laughs> but yeah anyway back to today and I am off to London in a bit I have got a couple of meetings and then I've got a Dermalogica event to go to but I thought before I went I would do a little unboxing like a little PR unboxing because I've got a few packages that I picked up yesterday and that I did mention that I was picking up so I thought I haven't opened them yet I thought I'd do like a little unboxing here now just because yeah I just thought I would. I quite like watching other people open stuff when I see it on Instagram. I'm like, ooh, what's that? So I thought I'd film these few packages um, and then get my act together, sort this crazy barnet out that looks like I don't know what I did. when I, th I think I must have put it in a ponytail with my eyes closed. <laughs> um, and yeah, let me put my coffee down and open up. So I've got, there's four here. So I will start off with this one here because I know what this is. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's from Glossy Box. And I am guessing it might be their Christmas um, Christmas box. Like December box, maybe? Or, well, let's see. Let's stop guessing and open it, shall we? Oh, she's a sticky one. <sighs> Probably should have got a pair of scissors or a knife, shouldn't I? Oh, we're in. Warm me out. Um, okay, so it is a Christmassy box and it says all that glitters on it. Um, you've got some tissue paper. Oh, I feel like I'm opening a Christmas present. It's all wrapped, all lovely. Okay, so inside, first of all, we have um, the incredible pore strip with charcoal. I have never tried a pore strip before that removes blackheads. So, yeah. That'll be exciting to try. I don't know if they'll hurt. I've seen people use them and it actually has like the black head on the inside. Um, we have got a Divine Hydrogel Lip Mask. Plumps, tightens, smooths and hydrates. A lip mask, whatever next. There's face masks, there's eye masks, and now there's lip masks. <laughs> well, I'll definitely try it. Um, and then there is a Cosmic Unicorn Shower Gel. That is always handy. Let's have a little smell. Hmm, smells nice. Cute. And then we've got a few little makeup bits. So there is a Bella Pierre Shimmer Roll um, for face, eyes, and body. So it's like a little metallic y shimmer in there. Uh, a Nico Pro Liquid Jelly Blusher. Oh, that looks nice. A liquid jelly blusher. Oh, it looks a little bit like NARS Orgasm, like that sort of corally, glittery colour. Can you see it if I hold it there? It's like the similar sort of colour as NARS Orgasm. Um, and then what else have we got? There is a, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, like a douche, I think it's called. Relentless Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Win Winter Berry, which is a very winter ber berry colour, isn't it? That would be nice this time of year and it will match my nails as well. Um, and I think that might be it in there. Very lovely. Thank you, Glossy Box. Okay, next up we have got a nice long 
large box. Oh, perfect timing. This is very fitting for today. Um, I have got the Dermalogica 12 Days to, Glo 12 Days to Glow gift set. Um, and I have seen other people opening this on Instagram recently, so I'm excited to try this. Let's, I think it's sort of like an advent calendar with 12 little doors. Um, yeah, so if I open it up, you can see, ow, I just prodded myself in the face. Um, yeah, 12 little doors, and it's a 12 days to Christmas, and it has got 12 of their um, sort of hero products. So it's got some masks, it's got moisturisers, cleansing gels, microfoliant, which is a lovely sort of soft exfoliating powder, um, eye lift, toner, serum. That is such a lovely idea. Thank you, Dermalogica. That'll be lovely. When do the 12 days of Christmas start? Is it 12 days before or 12 days after? That is one thing I'm, I've never been too sure about. On the 12th day of Christmas, Smells lovely again. Okay, let me pour these onto my lap. And there was a card in there, I think. Um, oh, okay, so Avida introducing new cherry almond softening shampoo and conditioner. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, so there are four products from Avida. I love Avida hair care. I have actually, okay, so there's the damage repair, daily hair repair, and damage, damage repair intensive re restructuring treatment and I have used both of these before and they are amazing. Um, this is like a hair treatment that you leave on for a couple of minutes and or I think you can leave it on for yeah two to five minutes um, and this is like a leave-in conditioning treatment and it's so lovely it makes your hair really shiny. Love it. So very grateful for another couple of those and this is obviously their new range which is cherry and almond have a little smell of this shall we oh lovely oh my goodness that smells oh that smells so nice like like oh lovely oh i love that smell it's like not marzipan but like um yeah a bit marzipan-y but cherry marzipan wonderful that is very lovely i yeah lovely okay and then last one and then i must really go and get ready otherwise I will definitely miss my train. Um, and, ooh, this is from Nukes. I'm pretty sure it's Nukes and not Nux, isn't it? Nukes. Um, Merry Christmas from Nukes. Enclosed are some magical skincare stocking fillers to enjoy this, festival se this festive season. Oh, okay. So, there is a Nukes um, multi-purpose dry oil face, body and hair. I feel like this is their like famous product, this oil. I used to always get the shimmery one used on me, like on photo shoots if we were shooting lingerie or um, like if we had our legs out, we'd get the shimmery one rubbed on our legs. It was always really lovely and yeah, really special. So, and it smells amazing as well. So the smell of that always reminds me of photo shoots. Um, so yeah, love that, thank you. And then there looks like a squashed Christmas cracker in here. Um, it, yeah, I think this one's got a little bit squished on the way. <laughs> um, so it's it's meant to be, yeah, it's meant to be a Christmas cracker, but I guess that bit is supposed to sit like that, but understandably it got a bit squished. And inside this one is a mini face cream, a mini hand and nail cream, a mini face cleansing and makeup removing gel, and then another little mini oil as well. So lovely, that's such a lovely little gift, isn't it? Once it looks, when it looks nice, that would be such a cute little present. Um, yeah, lovely. Um, I feel so grateful to receive bits like this. I don't think I'll ever get used to just being sent nice little bits and bobs. It's, uh, yeah, very exciting perk of the job. So I hope you enjoy seeing stuff like this as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get ready. I will probably not vlog now until I'm in London because I am probably going to be running a little bit late. But yeah, I'm going to go and get ready, sort my hair up, put a little bit of a wave in it and head off and get the train. There's a 
There's a bright star shining tonight I have never seen before It makes the snow come alive with the light Like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor And I'm thinking of you And how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you Hey, uh, so I have just finished I haven't got lips on my teeth, have I? So I have just finished off a meeting in um, Dean Street Townhouse which is lovely, I've never been in there before and it's really, really nice in there so I've just finished off a meeting in there and I just sort of cut through um, Regent Street and Carnaby Street and it's all Christmassy and lovely there's loads of lovely lights up and oh, there's lots of sirens um, um, yeah it's really Christmassy down there it looks really lovely and then I've just grabbed a smoothie from Joe and the Jews I just uh, nipped in there and got a energizer smoothie because no it's not a smoothie it's a juice isn't it an energizer juice because I felt like I needed a little bit of energy um, and it's got red grapefruit apple and ginger in it so yeah it tastes delicious and now I am just on my way to the Dermalogica event which is in um, Duke of York their Duke of York flagship store so I'm just heading to the tube station to find that um, and then yeah hopefully I think I'm gonna have like a little treat in there as well which should be lovely so yeah heading there now I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you come up with me tonight On a Christmas stroll Through a wintry town It's a lovely sight When the city's in this gown So come on and take a Christmas stroll With me tonight so I have just got to Sloan Square and just heading to the event and it's so lovely and Christmassy here. There's like a big Christmas tree up and there's like a Chanel bottle over there that I just filmed. Um, and everywhere's sparkly and really, yeah, really lovely. You can see, look, there's a Christmas tree. Yeah, big old Christmas tree. So yeah, just heading over to the event now and I'm looking forward to getting a facial because my skin is not good at the moment. Have you noticed this big old boy on my chin? And when I say big, I'm not even exaggerating. I feel like it's the only, I feel like it's bigger than my face at the moment. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit of a shock when they take my makeup off. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have like a little 10 minute facial and then they're just, I don't really know. I think there's bubbles and cakes to celebrate one year anniversary of their flagship store. Um, I think I did mention that a minute ago, but I was all flustered because I was walking and not really knowing where I was going. So yeah, now I'm here and I know where I am. I feel a little bit, a little bit calmer. Um, but yeah, beautiful. The skies are all blue. It's nice and cold. And this coat, I've got my Topshop coat on today, and it's keeping me so warm and cosy. I just feel, yeah, feel lovely. Um, although this hat feels a little bit tight for my head today. Um, but yeah, gonna head to the event now. I'll stop rambling because I can see people looking at me like I'm mad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the shop is in sight, so we'll head in. Shortcut through the park. Walk with close holding hands there in the dark Have some hot chocolate in a deli store Now doesn't that sound like something with opening the door for So won't you Missed anything out, like any steps that I should have Do you use any masks? Yeah, I do. Yeah, which ones? I did actually get a, ma a mini mask set here. Yeah. yeah. And I have used these sort of clay sort of ones in there. Okay, nice. And what other, is it like a vitamin, -y, a vitamin one? Yeah, multi Yeah, love that, yeah. It's really nice, that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, my son has got an allergy. As you can see, he's all red. Okay, if you... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You forgot that, okay. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it happened just today. I mean, um, we are not a doctor. Toner, I don't usually toe. Don't you? Why? I don't know. I don't think I've got one. 
I'm doing a gym at the moment. So when I have a look at your skin, what do you face up? I recommend one, but yeah. the toner is so important because the toner is going to help close pores, hydrate the skin, and just really kind of just finish off your cleansing routine. Right, okay. I was doing my makeup on the train for my and I realised I need to wax my moustache. I was like, oh god, I'm going to do a facial, I've got a hairy top lip. <laughs> so I do apologise. Oh my god, no. Um, things you forget until like the sun is oh, on the train, the sun was shining, I was like, oh god, <laughs> I look like my nan. <laughs> so I'm going to have a look at your skin. And then we'll see what we'll do today. At the moment, you find your skin's a little bit dry. I'm trying to my lips are dry. Oh, And you bought him a birthday cake? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what I'll do here is we'll do a deep cleanse and we'll put the wrap of the deal peel on. So that will be the best thing for your skin right now. Okay, lovely. And then get lots of hydration in there for you, okay? Perfect, yep. Jersey. So it's a um, big difference. Um, yeah, anyway, it's different when it's not home, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. not. Yeah. And what's is this? The what's this? You know, this is skin recession cleanser. Oh, so this is from our anti-aging range. It's a really good exfoliating cleanser. Just help brighten up the skin. Remove any dead skin on that. Yeah. Can you get anyone with everything else? Mm. Really good, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Big old spot there, haven't I? Looks sore. Oh, it's not actually that sore, it's just big. <laughs> don't know what, I don't normally get them that bad, but yeah. I think it's just the time of the year, like the dry skin and alcohol. <laughs> Reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. No, it's the time of year, winter wonderland. <laughs> my winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland. How's that feeling? Yeah, like a little bit tingly. Yeah. But nice. Like, not uncomfortable or anything. The Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. So I've just finished my skin treatment and my skin feels lovely. It's kind of like tingling a little bit. Um, but yeah, it feels really lovely. It's apart from this that you can see ridiculously, even from like a mile off, you can see it. Um, typical. But yeah, it feels really nice. It feels nice and warm. I shouldn't really be touching it really, should I? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the train back now. I'll just quickly show you one of the treatment rooms. Look, this is downstairs at Dermalogica. This is one of the lovely treatment rooms and it smells so nice down here. Can you hear that relaxing music? Love that. I could just lay there now. 